The moment that she didn't have the nomination, that the first thought is disappointment. But then she realizes there's a reason I'm not nominated. I have to do better. And that's such a, an impressive mindset, an impressive, strong character to be able to shift into that decision within seconds. <laughs> Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to IB Plays Music. Today I'm going to react to a documentary about Taylor Swift and this is called Miss Americana. Now before I start this reaction, I first want to say thank you, especially to all the patrons that became a member since I posted my reactions uh, to Taylor Swift on YouTube. I posted first my reaction to her Folklore album in the Long Pond Studio sessions, and then afterwards the Reputation Stadium Tour. And <laughs> I started before with like not even 20 members on Patreon uh, total, and now I'm at like 190 uh, Patreon members. So I thought okay i have to do more of taylor swift of course so i put a poll on patreon uh, and i put a message and like this was the one that came out of it uh, most people suggested this uh, reaction next to taylor swift and there will be more probably in the future as well uh, but yeah this documentary is one and a half hours i'm not sure exactly what we're going to see in this, what it is exactly about. But as you guys suggested it, Swifties, uh, you're getting it. First on Patreon, of course, the full length version, no filters, no ads. And then afterwards, a couple of weeks later, I'll post this on YouTube as well. And I still have to post my reaction to her talking about her songwriting and such as well. So that being said, guys, let's check this out. It's also from Netflix, so let's just start. Here we go. Oh, there's no subtitle, so... Ha! <laughs> of course the cat is there. She doesn't even mind. It would not surprise me if her cat walking on the piano gives her inspiration for something. Seeing these couple of videos and tours from Taylor Swift, you're reading your comments, I get a bit of what she is all about. And a ton of it is her creativity when it comes to her songwriting, the lyrics, and how intuitive she is, how, how she is a storyteller, and where she gets the inspiration from. She really tells stories that are true to her life. It's always about something she can relate to. And so I think this might, it's, it's something ridiculous to think about, but still, it would not surprise me if this would be something that inspires her. And not surprising, it's a cat, of course. So let's see. Now she has to laugh. <laughs> it's a cute cat. I don't know what time this is filmed in. How long ago this is. When I was 13. And it says, my life, is this my career, my, my dream, my reality. So she already had this dream at her 13 years old. That was a phase I went through. Like I had a glass quill with like an ink jet. That also shows the glass quill and ink. It's very traditional, I was about to say, but actually it's more like old. It's an old way of writing. She already had a diary. I mean, a lot of young girls probably had a diary when they were in middle school or high school. But to know already your dream, the dream you have, and actually making it real. You know, my entire moral code oh, wow. as a kid and now is a need to be thought of as good. And it's dangerous for the piano, perhaps, too. Do the right thing. Do the good thing. And obviously, I'm not a perfect person by any Nobody stretch. Nobody is. But overall, the main thing that I always tried to be was good. a good girl. And now to perform the national anthem, a multi-talented performing artist from Reading, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Taylor Swift. Wow. How long ago was that? <laughs> Ha ha ha. That's cool. That's a reaction from a child you would like relate to. I remember when I got my first guitar, I was like six years old, and it was not a real 
an actual guitar. It was like a play guitar, but still, it, it was a big deal, kind of. And I didn't start playing the guitar until I was like 13, but still, it's, it's a fond memory. That's nice. What, did they say a 12-year-old? 12-year-old, yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm Taylor. I've been trained to be happy when... She was already a good talker, too. Sony is gonna listen to her CD today. Actually? You're doing a good job at being a songwriter. You're doing a good job at being a musician. Like, those pats on the head were all I lived for. No one's going to be watching this. because. Yeah, living for the praise you get and for the compliments. And you're doing it to get appreciation, pretty much. And I think she evolved from that right now. But if isn't everybody in the business like that? They start off and they're sometimes almost floating because of all the praise and all the compliments they get. But later on, when you get more experience, you probably realize the downsides of it as well. And realize that if you, you're not able to disconnect sometimes, it's, it's sometimes too much perhaps? I don't know. Let's see. Look at that. 60... 60 on the billboard charts right there. <laughs> Was that the first time? How long ago was that? I mean, she really doesn't seem to age from a certain point on. Oh, wow. That's a show I haven't seen. I was so fulfilled by approval. Approval, yeah. That was it. Oh my God. That is crazy. I became the person who everyone wanted me to be. But who did you want to be? You thought it was a good thing? So... It, wait, Miss Americana, does that like reference to kind of the American dream that she accomplished being successful and then realizing there's more to life than that? I don't know if that's something what this is about, but let's find out. Was that an ear stick to clean the ears or did I see that wrong? It reminds me a bit of in the um, <laughs> Reputation Stadium tour when one of the guys handed her a tissue so she can blow her nose on stage. Oh, it seems like a similar stage setup as the Reputation tour. These big lead walls. Exactly. Oh, and this from that tour. Is that rain? Are they emu emulating rain? Okay, that was a swift <laughs> shift. Sorry, no pun intended. So happy. <laughs> Everybody was so happy watching it. Oh, I thought she was down for a moment, but she's just exhausted and but but so happy. I mean, everybody was happy. It must be overwhelming having all the feedback after concerts like that i cannot imagine her enabling all her notifications how many cats does she have is it like three or hi good morning i've just been like running up and down stairs like trying not to think about you calling you grammy nomination the big categories of album record song um you are not nominated wow it's, um, you know what, like, this is fine. This is, yeah. I just need to make a better record. Well, wow. No, I'm making, I'm making a better record. Was that, because when I reacted to Taylor Swift talking about her songwriting, this came into the conversation as well, or one of the conversations as well. The moment that she didn't have the nomination, that the first thought is like, oh, Wow, it's this a disappointment, basically. But then she soon, like we see here, realizes, like, I just have to make a better record. There's a reason I'm not nominated. I have to do better. And that's such a, an impressive mindset, an impressive, strong character to be able to shift right away into that decision. Like, in, within seconds, she makes that decision. It's fine. I have to make a better record. That's it. No time to whine about it. It's just move on and do better. We're not there yet. So do you want me to call you right back when those hit? Sure. Okay, I'll call you right back. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. 
she is emotional about it, definitely. But she knows, like, there's not much to do about it. And she can use the emotion as inspiration, probably. Say that you're not enough, 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 one like me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that one? The green fingernails. Love it. I'm gonna say it every time she wears something green. I'm gonna say it. It sounds different than I thought it would on the piano. It almost sounds. Who is this, Joe Little? I haven't seen this guy before. Sadder. Mm -hmm. And then you say that you'll never find another like me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't have no idea. It's really cool. You like it? Yeah. I think this is the first single. Oh my gosh, she already knows. So, a couple of interesting things that you Swifties let me know as well is that apparently, like the fifth track on her albums, apparently is the track that she relates to the most, uh, feels more, most personal about, or think is the best song. And that's why in the Folklore album, they, they specifically said it's like the fifth track, so it's important to, to her. So thanks for letting me know, guys. It is fun to see her being so passionate about it. <laughs> is that her mom? Yeah, that's a mother. If I don't beat everything I've done prior, it'll be deemed as like a colossal failure. Hmm, there's a lot of pressure, of course. From 16 to 20 songs on it is what I'm guessing it's gonna end up at. That's a lot, 16 to 20 songs. I think there's a lot of bands and artists that when they put out an album that have like, I don't know, 10 to 12 maybe songs, 16 to 20 songs is a lot to put on one album. I mean, it depends on how long they are as well, I think, but I mean, it's her choice to put so many songs in it. Everybody in music has their own sort of niche specialty thing that they do so does she my storytelling is what it is for me I, I i know that exactly nobody can write songs for you in your stories there is an element to my fan base where we feel like we grew up together i'll i'll be going through something write the album about it and then it'll come out and sometimes it'll just coincide with what they're going through yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing is also because she started so young, she had a big fan base probably that was also pretty young. And I see why she almost feels like they grew up together in a way, or part of the fan base at least. So they get her, I think. This is a song I wrote yesterday. And oh. it's about a girl. Oh my God. So happy. So this is called Lucky You. One day. Oh, she already had a 12-string back then. I sometimes wish I had a 12-string. I just... It's not that I need it, but it's just... I'd like to play it on, on a 12-string now and then. I have never played a 12-string. I'd like to try it. That's cool. She wrote it in, a, in one day? This song was seriously finished five minutes ago. So, you know, I usually have these things memorized, but... I just finished it five minutes ago. Man, she started recording these things really early. <laughs> the guitar is not even really tuned all that accurately, but it's fine. <laughs> I started playing three years later. Wrote a couple songs and I've written 150 songs and written every song on this album. 150 songs? I want each and every one of you to call them up and tell them you want to hear a song called Tim McGraw. By this girl named Taylor Swift. They probably did. Please. Please. <laughs> 16-year-old girl released her debut country music album and dreamed of making it big. Well, well, she definitely did. I give myself like five seconds a day to be like, yes, this is happening. <laughs> and then the rest of the day, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make it last. And the Horizon Award goes to... 
Taylor Swift. Man, she she got a lot of nominations. Man, her mommy's must be so proud. Oh, everything's silver. Another three years later. And I remember thinking, this feels like a dream. This feels like a dream. It was her dream. It is real now. But when you're living for the approval of strangers, one bad thing can cause everything to crumble. Exactly. And the Moon Man for best female video goes to... Oh, with Shakira here. Taylor Swift. You belong to me. So Yo, Taylor. I'm really okay. Oh, yeah, I know where this is going. I know where this is going. And that was uh, what you guys told me about the snakes in the uh, in the Reputation Stadium Tour. What happened with Kanye West. And who was it uh, who should have won? Oh, was it Beyonce? I don't, I don't remember, but let, let's see what, what actually happened. I'm happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. I'm sorry, but that is just so respect, so unrespectful. How must she feel right now? I was really excited because I had just won the award, and then I was really excited because Kanye West was on the stage, and then I, um, then I wasn't so excited anymore. Are there any hard feelings towards him? I, I don't know him, and I've never met him. I don't know him, and I don't want to start anything because I just, you know, I had a great night tonight. <sighs> That's messed up. At the time, I didn't know they were booing him doing that. I thought that they were booing me. <sighs> For That's someone so... who's built their whole belief system on getting people to clap for you, the whole crowd booing is a pretty formative experience. Man, that's messed up. That's sad. Left my scarf there. Oh, she looks gorgeous here. I mean, not only here, but I mean, especially. That was like sort of a catalyst for a lot of psychological paths that I went down. Not all of them were beneficial. I can't change what's going to happen to me, but I can control what I write. That's true. There's always a certain sound, too, that she has. Very particular drum percussion. I really just went to this place where I was like, I'm going to prove myself. Pop with almost no contemporary references. Miss Swift is aiming somewhere even higher, a mode of time. Oh, that's also something you guys told me. I was wondering in the Reputation Stadium tour, because she has different colors of mics in the video. But apparently it's because the tour was filmed over separate different concerts and she had different colored mics in different concerts that's why we saw different colors of mics because it was used from different clips of the of the whole tour that was interesting to see so that's probably also we see a golden mic right here the thing is when you see the videos of, from behind the scenes when she's writing songs when she's in the studio whatever you see how she is in her personal space and like a comfy outfit a hoodie whatever very baggy just some nice and comfy situation, let's say. And then when the show must be there, she's really someone totally different look-wise, let's say, and performance-wise. But when she then talks to the crowd, you still feel that there's a personal connection there, which I really appreciate, which I, I didn't know about before I watched her videos. An album at number one for six weeks for four consecutive albums. Man. Taylor Swift is the music industry. But she definitely, I, w I would have to look up the numbers, but she is definitely, like, is she already better selling than Michael Jackson ever was with his Thriller album? That was the most sold album in history of an artist, I believe, but I'm not sure if Taylor Swift already surpassed that. Could be, could be, but I don't know. Man, she, ha she has a bit of a Scarlett Johansson look 
in here with the hair and such, I think. Right? Are we out of the woods? And all of these lights that they always apparently have in the stadiums. My life had never been better. I had one... Oh, there's the guy from, um, from One Republic. Oh, is this... Selena Gomez? Or am I wrong? Am I seeing this wrong? But here on the right, there's the guy from uh, One Republic. What's his name again? I forgot his name. Whatever. I had <laughs> one album of the year at the Grammys for a second time, which I never thought was a possibility. Oh, that's um, the guy um, from the studio. Oh, I forgot his name again. Uh, Aaron? Was it Aaron, I believe? Thinking afterward. Oh my God, that was all you wanted. What now? You get to the mountaintop and you look around and you're like, oh God. I'm here. What now? I didn't have a partner that I climbed it with who could relate to what I was, what, what I, you know. Yeah. I had my mom. I just wondered, shouldn't I have someone that I could call right now? She felt lonely is what it seems like. I'm about to be 29. 29. Oh. So that's like five years ago, I think, because she's from 89. I'm from 92 and I'm 31. So... She's now 34, and it was 29, so five years ago. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's a part of me that feels like I'm 57 years old, but then there's a part of me that's like, definitely not ready to have kids, definitely. Really specific, 57. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever ready for that stuff. You just... Yeah, exactly, exactly. I kind of don't really have the luxury of figuring stuff out because my life is planned like in like two years ahead of time. Mm. It's a choice that you have to make. Being an artist, I mean, no, it's something that you have to kind of accept when you choose to be a big artist or when you're a big artist. I guess you have to accept what comes with it. And that's part of it. Private jet. Incoming. Why did they get food just before departing? is mom she decided to get a third child like a human sized dog well it, it looks like a dalmatia i don't know how it's called in english whatever but it's apparently a lot bigger than that she got cancer several years ago oh that that's what was that's what that was about really hard for me because she's my favorite person it must be hard because Hi, Dad. oh that's her father do you really care if the internet doesn't like you today, if your mom's sick from her chemo. Exactly. That doesn't matter at that point. Oh, you gotta be the dog sees herself or himself. It's my family and my friends. Right now, would you like a glass of red wine what a or white wine? What a colorful Can kitchen. A colorful house. What the hell? We see like blue, yellow, red. Oh my God. Even the chairs. Have the, the... Wait, but that's the flag of the United Kingdom, right? You know, Claire just had a baby. Mm -hmm. She's like, just so you know, this is what it is. Feed them, change them, they sleep. And I was like, so it's like a Tamagotchi. <laughs> what is a Tamagotchi? I don't know. You would be an excellent mother. Thanks. No question. I mean, character-wise, she would be. But I doubt she'd have the time right now. I mean, if she wants to have kids, she knows there's going to have to be some changes. Well, good luck selling this picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wants to stay out of the paparazzi. Is that security? Yeah, how do you deal with that? So this is my front yard. Oh my God. And I'm highly aware of the fact that that is not normal. What's that? Some kind of vitamin? It's not good for me to see pictures of myself every day and whether it's a picture of me where I feel like I looked like my tummy was too big or oh no or like someone said that I looked pregnant or something and that'll just trigger me to just body dysmorphia kind of <laughs> damn if you eat food have energy get stronger you can do all these shows and not feel it at the time I really don't think I knew it yeah I eat, it's Oof, yeah I just there she was oh my god that was really slim yeah that's almost concerning i think like she said it's probably a good thing for her that she realized that she doesn't need to be this 
small size because some people would otherwise give comments like, are you pregnant or whatever. And I did exercise a lot, but I wasn't eating. Then you cannot gain weight. I don't think you know you're doing that when you're doing it gradually. Yeah. If you're thin enough, then you don't have that ass that everybody wants. But if you have enough weight on you to have an ass, then your stomach isn't flat enough. Yes. It's all just fucking impossible. <laughs> or not naturally, at least. This would cause me to go into like a real shame, like hate spiral. Why? I do not do that anymore because yeah. it's better to, look, to think you look fat than to look sick. She knows. I, I think that Taylor Swift, she is annoying. She's too good. She's too skinny. There will always be something. You're going to walk home with more than maybe just a trophy tonight. I think lots of men. I'm not going to walk home with any men tonight. <laughs> she, that, that was not really a good uh, comment to give, I think. Kanye West recently dissed Taylor in his new song, Famous. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. <sighs> oh, my God. Release video of Kanye West secretly recording his conversation. I mean... Thanks for being like so cool about it. She posted on Instagram, where in the video is Kanye telling me he was going to call me that biatch, biatch yeah. in his song? I don't I buy the story that she was so insulted exactly. by that one line. I think she saw an opportunity to be yeah. victimized oh. here, and she thought everybody oh. was going to get on her side. <laughs> Yeah, that can really mess with your head. With with your head, that's really messed up. When people decided I was wicked and evil and conniving and not a good person, that was the one that I couldn't really bounce back from because my whole life was centered around it. Yeah, I can imagine that. Hashtag Taylor Swift is over party was the number one trend on Twitter worldwide. Do you know how many people have to be tweeting that they hate you for that to happen? I'm still wondering why though. What did she do wrong? I'm just thinking like it is something if you don't like her music, it's something if you don't really like relate to her character, I don't know, but I mean there are the rumors from like having a lot of boyfriends or whatever but outside of that i mean i don't get it we liked the sound of people clapping because it made us forget about how much we feel like we're not good enough and i've been doing this for 15 years and i'm so tired of it it just feels like it's more than music now at this point when people fall out of love with you there's nothing you can do to make them change their mind they just don't love you anymore i just wanted to disappear nobody physically saw me for a year and that was what i thought they wanted 26. Maybe I got mine, but you'll all get yours. Reputation songwriting. Okay. Well, that that's something that she also used. The character that they made up. The reason why that backlash hurt so much was because that used to be all I had. I figured I had to reset everything. Brought a knife to a gunfight. Looks a lot like the guitar I have. I had to deconstruct an entire belief system. I also was falling in love with someone who had a really wonderfully normal, balanced, grounded life. But yeah. We wanted our relationship to be private. That's hard as such a big celebrity. I didn't know about this break she had for a year. It's actually, it looks like exactly the same guitar as mine. Oh, it's not exactly the same. It looks similar, but it's not the same. The upper part here is different. It would have surprised me, but okay, <laughs> let's just move on. Even though it was really horrible, I was happy. It was happiness without anyone else's input. It was just, we were happy. Mm -hmm. Magnetic field being a little too strong. This ain't for the best. My hey, same headphones. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna go back to doing my job and I'm gonna make a record I'm proud of. It was like we flew. Can I have it again? That's different. Oh, Jack. It was Jack. <laughs> yeah, the other guy from um, from the Folklore album. The other, the other one was Aaron, but this was, it was Jack that was uh, there.
Oh, it was getaway car. Yeah. Took the money in the bag and I stole the money. Took the money in the bag and I stole the keys. That was the last time you ever saw me. Ah! That was the last time you ever saw me. Driving the getaway Oh, that was open doors. Outdoors, I should say. That's also from the Reputation tour. It seems like. So was Jack the one that she got together with then or not? I mean, in that time when she was out. Oh, no, that was. Mom. But that didn't last. Hi, guys! Who are all those guys? Where is she in? China, Japan, Korea. I just like you to be a witness for something special, Miss Taylor Swift. Oh my God. Uh, oh yes. wow. Miss Maybell Marciano uh, to be my wife. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it is definitely <laughs> memorable, but <laughs> oh, from Panic at the Disco. Like, I just want, like, little kids to be like, there's no one like me. Like, <laughs> like the, Exactly. Yeah, Panic at the Disco, I heard from a colleague that he's not really doing anything no more. Your blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a crazy dude break into my apartment and sleep in my bed a couple months oh. ago. What? Like, well, how? Hey! I cannot believe you're even sick. That's amazing. <laughs> Strike the band up for one, two, three. Oh, you sound Ooh. great, man. You sound amazing. Ooh. That is. No one tend to make it about me. Maybe your in your first line should be like, no one tend to make it about me. You know what I mean? Like, about me. Like, about me. Oh, okay, cool. Come on, Brittany, you're blowing it. You sound come amazing. On. Like, you're making it come alive. I know what tend to make it about me. I know you never get just yes. what you see. Oh, my God. So much. This is ridiculous. That's so cool. It sounds. Oh. I'm so excited that you're down to do like a massive video. Oh yeah. It starts in an apartment, like you and me get in a big. Oh, I haven't seen a video like that. Out, and I'm like. Did we come? <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like I like have like a parade happening below. Like, amazing, amazing, amazing. And like emo kids, theater, <laughs> dance sequences, La La Land, people in country western boots. I start riding a unicorn, like just everything that makes me me. Five, six, seven, eight. If you were to it looks so much fun. My imagination, what would come out of it? Yeah, there's apparently a lot that comes out. So many different ideas. I'm too excited about everything. That's good. That's good. Uh, oh, what a. Follow you? Yes. That's for her cats? Oh my god, that's genius. <laughs> That is amazing. I go on a journey and I take with me my cats. Nashville, she goes, she's going back home. Marsha Blackburn, a self-described hardcore conservative, proclaims her support for President Trump. I know the left calls me a wing nut or a knuckle-dragging conservative, and you know what? I say, that's all right, bring it on. One of the things that like outraged me so much is that she voted against the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act which tries to protect women from stalking, from date rape, from domestic violence. And then obviously it's a no for gay marriage. It's a no for them to have any rights whatsoever. Mm. You know, I don't know if people really want to hear my political views. I think they just kind of want to hear me say... I, w I, I wouldn't think it's a pretty smart idea to talk about that if you're... I don't know. Let people live their lives. Yeah, exactly. That is grilled into us. Well, that racy magazine cover on the stands today pretty much sums up some of the names the Dixie Chicks are being called in America these days. Traitors, the Dixie Sluts, anti-American. All because of hmm. one split-second comment aimed at President Bush right before the war with Iraq. These are callow, foolish women who deserve to be slapped around. What, what kind of comment is that? Label executives and publishers would just say, don't be like the Dixie Chicks. And... I loved the Dixie Chicks. A nice girl doesn't force their opinions on people. A nice girl smiles and waves and says thank you. I was hmm. so obsessed with not getting in trouble. I was like, I'm just not going to do anything that anyone could say anything about. But then you're not being yourself. I'm trying to figure out this. I really like what I was doing, but I can't figure out what video is in. Oh, it's a cool. 
She, uh, she records all her ideas, which is a very smart idea, which is a very smart thing. You are kind of doing a constant strategy in your head as to how not to be shamed for something on yeah. any given day. But then you get accused of being calculated for having strategy. Mm. <laughs> it never ends. It never ends. That's it. Dun, dun, dun. Just more movement. That's really cool. That bit and daughters to the bitches and models to the do you, do you know like how they're like we drink and She already knows what she wants it to sound like. Swift says this picture shows the moment Muller inappropriately grabbed her, putting his hand up her skirt. This had happened to me. We told his boss. They did an investigation. He got fired. Then he sued me for millions of dollars. So I countersued for one dollar. I don't know how that works, but... The first thing they say to you in court is, why didn't you scream? Why didn't what? you react quicker? It's a picture. You don't feel a sense of any victory when you win because the process is so dehumanizing. Yeah. This is with seven witnesses and a photo. What happens when you get raped and it's your word against his? Exactly. That's really messed up. Just kind of looking back, um, this exact day, a year ago, I was in a courtroom in Denver, Colorado. Honestly, she always, I, I... She always plays during her speeches, which is kind of amazing when you think about it. Like, concentrating on what you are saying whilst you are playing the mu your music... And you're not even speaking in the rhythm of the music, necessarily. It's... I was there for a sexual assault case, and this day a year ago was the day that the jury sided in my favor and said that they believed me. I just wanted to say I'm sorry to anyone who ever wasn't believed, because I don't know what turn my life would have taken if somebody, if people didn't believe me when I said that something had happened to me. So. That's very personal. The fact that she talks about that with her audience. Oh, here it's a different mic than before. We saw the, the silver mic and now it's the black mic. So it's also from different uh, concerts on the Reputation Tour. Oh, it is actually raining. This concert must have been outdoors then. Yeah, how, the, how do they prepare for this? The gear must be... Kind of water resistance, right? Yeah, it must be hard as a mom. To see this happening as well. Senate candidate Marsha Blackburn is up in the polls. Congratulations. On oh my God. My team's really not happy with me right now. It's not that I want to step into this. I just, I, I can't not at this point. For 12 years, we've not got involved with politics or religion. Yeah, but this is on the home front. Back in the presidential election, I was in such a horrendous place. Like imagine if we came to you and said, hey, we've got this idea that we could halve the number of people that come to you next. The other thing, just from a security so standpoint, you think Taylor Swift comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. I just really want you to know that this is important to me. I, the bottom line right now, I'm terrified. She votes against fair pay for women, the reauthorization of the, of the Violence Against Women Act, which is just basically protecting us from domestic abuse and stalking. This is going really deep into politics. Basic human rights, and it's right and wrong at this point. I didn't need you to forgive me for doing it, because I'm doing it. Man, you have to have some balls. Number yeah. one, the president can come after you. Yeah, fuck that, I don't care. If I get bad press for saying don't put a homophobic racist in office, I think that it is so frilly and spineless of me to stand on stage and be like, <gasps> happy Pride Month, you guys, and then not say this when someone's literally coming for their neck. Man, she looks exhausted too there. One, two, three, go. Oh, God. 
Taylor Swift broke her silence on politics over the weekend, publicly backing two Democrats in Tennessee. Let's say that I like Taylor's music about 25% less now, okay? It's a risky move for an entertainer to step into politics. It is sensitive. So proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Go, Do you think it'll be, you know what? Donald Trump likes my music 25% less. I feel 200 pounds lighter. Note how Republicans are attacking Taylor Swift's intelligence instead of her ideas. They don't respect women enough to debate them. It's not not true. That was a heavy part. Stunning and sexy. Yeah, it's like a melted down disco ball. Kind is. <laughs> I, you know what? This is going to sound really ridiculous, but I can't move Ooh, past you. <laughs> <laughs> This dress makes me feel. It seems kind of restricting, constricting. Man, everybody shouting, all that pressure. Thank you so much for this. And I just wanted to make a, a mention of the fact that this award and every single award given out tonight were voted on by the people. And you know what else is voted on by the people? The midterm elections on November 6th. Get out and vote. I love you. Another video clip. I'm surprised they don't actually play the music. I look like I have a mean face sometimes when I'm not trying to. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the women are being critical of, uh, of their own looks. You know what we call this? This is last rhino of the stampede up here. Just <gasps> everybody else is running. <laughs> we do exist in this society where women in entertainment are discarded in an elephant graveyard by the time they're 35. I mean, generally. Everyone's a shiny new toy for like two years. Oh, they did the same thing. The female artists that I know of have reinvented themselves 20 times more than the male artists. They have to, or else you're out of a job. Constantly having to reinvent. Be new to us. Be young to us, but only in a new way and only the way we want. Live out a narrative that we find to be interesting enough to entertain us, but not so crazy that it makes us we I thought it almost was the end, but it's not. <laughs> This seems like a speech she this would give at the one end. Of my last opportunities as an artist to grasp onto that kind of success. I want to work really hard while society is still tolerating me being successful. Marsha Blackburn will win the Senate seat. The young voter turnout spiked here by sevenfold from the previous midterm election, and yet that wasn't enough. Oh, it wasn't enough? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So for the next two years, we have to build on what started here. I think she feels a lot of pressure because of what she said. You cannot really pull it back. Statistically, three to four million people turning 18 in the next two years. It's basically saying, like, don't lose hope. Yeah, your time will come if you just hang in there. Yeah. Good beat. She's thinking of something. Play it again. Mm-hmm. Can run. Oh, nice. It's basically saying, like, resist. Shift the power in your direction by being bold enough. Yeah, she's pretty bold for, like, using these politics as inspiration, even. And you are outnumbered. This time. Oh, God. She really put the exact story in, in this song. All right. I have to apologize, guys. It's pretty late in the evening when I'm recording this. Rainbow flag. Okay. I, just, I feel really good about not feeling muzzled anymore. I've educated myself now. For another video clip. And it's time to take the masking tape off of my mouth. That's such a cool setup again. Literally just call me for anything because you do so many. Matt, you guys, you have to let me know what all these settings from which music videos these are. Because I haven't seen any of them. I want to love glitter and also stand up for the double standards that exist in our society. And I don't think that those things have to cancel each other out. No, not not that. Of course not. How long have you been doing this? About a year. My favorite Mannings I've ever gotten. I appreciate it. Give me a good review on Yelp. I will. Swift Nails. Oh, what Swift Yelp? Yeah. And the VMA goes to Taylor Swift. 
Swift, your music falls out. At the end of this video, what? there was a petition. And there's what event was this? Well, I want to thank everyone who signed that petition because it now has half a million signatures, which is five times the amount that it would need to warrant a response from the White House. Uh -oh. I need to calm down. So, okay, so what happened? I'm trying to be as educated as possible on how to deprogram the misogyny in my own brain. Toss it out, reject it, and resist it. We don't want to be condemned for being multifaceted. Sorry, that was a real soapbox. No, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she got a point though. We're like, sorry, was I loud in my own house that I bought with the songs that I wrote about my own life? Come back, I'm ready for come back. Is this New York? There's nothing that feels better. Times Square? Than this moment. Here's Jack again. No one is this good and works harder. And if you're that good, usually you don't work that hard. Is it going to end with the Grammys? You know, there's this thing people say about celebrities that they're frozen at the age they got famous. And that's kind of what happened to me. I had a lot of growing up to do. I mean, at certain, for some things, she had to mature really fast. Whilst other things she had to skip, kind of. Because she was famous or became famous. I want it so bad, but I get so scared of what might happen. Relax. I can handle it. Okay, we've, I'm young. we've seen this. I'm talented. They'll see it in me. I've got to hang on. But that was also from the Reputation Tour. I want to still have a sharp pen and a thin skin and an open heart. So what was this? Wait, that was it. How, wh so where was this last stage? When was it? I have so many questions. But only, the young. only the young. It's a fitting song to end the documentary uh, with. It was a really good documentary. That was it. Man. Okay. Guys, that was my full reaction to Taylor Swift's documentary. Miss Americana from 2020, that was, just before the pandemic. Okay. So that was also before uh, Folklore came out. So actually what I now have done, so Reputation was before Folklore and was before this documentary because there are there is footage from the Reputation tour, then, then there was this, and then afterwards there was the Folklore album. Man, okay, that was, again, very interesting and even sometimes emotional to see what she had to deal with starting from a very early age, of course, until like basically present uh, or at least a couple of years ago. But even like the, the, the impact that you have as such a big artist as well, it seems like there's a lot of pressure on you, not only for your music, but also a lot on your personal life and even going as far as politics and such. It is so sensitive, right? Over here in, in, in Belgium, we have elections and we have to vote, but I don't think everybody is as open about their political opinion as in the United States. At least I don't think so. There's a lot of people these days that are more open about it, but I was taught when I was younger to not really like openly say uh, what your, uh, who you're voting for or what your political view is. So just probably more for safety reasons than for anything uh, else, but yeah. Guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this full documentary. Like I said, this is first going to go on Patreon and then a couple of weeks after on YouTube as well, but of course a cut-up version of this. Yeah, very interesting. And it's almost 3 a.m. <laughs> at night. At point in, at this point in time, so uh, pretty tired. I think I'm going to go to bed after this. But I had a great time, and I mean, it it still kind of strikes me why there was so much hate, 
towards her, aside from the rumors of having like a couple of boyfriends or whatever, perhaps some of you guys can explain to me what exactly she was like critiqued for or hated for because I don't really see it. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other reactions to Taylor Swift, which are on Patreon or on YouTube or other artists, other musicians and bands and such. I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very, very much, Swifties, and see you guys in the next one. Bye. All of my pay. Thank you to all the pay. I first want to thank you. I don't. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, um. I think like I get. I get. It's. Just, it's. Uh, let's see. Oh, I missed it again. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I cannot turn back enough. Come on. Uh. The. The. That. They. Like say. Uh. Uh. uh, uh a passionate, a pa the fifth threat, like he is the is one. I see why she so, sometimes, uh, sometimes in the in the um the the uh of a music of a musician. Uh, it's all it's it's not really, it's not like you can say like, it's just like it. it it's a probably it. Let's let's actually compare. Like they are not our I, I folk reputation um going in, uh, in t like they're, they're I was thought I was taught in when I when I was a when a, a political um I don't know so perhaps some guys other artists other other music.